How's it going everyone and welcome to my video on how to play Star Overhead by the Pillows. Let's get into it. So in the intro we have D minor. Then we have G major. And we're playing the version of G major that has the third fret of the B string also fretted. Then we have C major. And then A minor. And then you just play it again. And that's the intro. Alright, for the next part, we're going to have D minor, so 5th fret of the A string, 7th fret of the D and G string, 6th fret of the B string. And we're going to strum it like so. Next we have G major, and so we played like this. We're going to have 7th fret the high E, 8th fret the B string, 7th uh, fret of the G string, and then 5th fret of the D string. And the strum is like this. Then we have C major, so 3rd fret of the A string, then we're going to bar the D, G, and B string on the 5th fret. Then what we're going to do is this. So what happens there is that I strum the chord, and then as the chord's ringing, I add my pinky to the 6th fret of the B string, and I'm going to hit the G and B string twice. So it's going to be like... Then I release my pinky from that 6th fret, and then hit that G and B string again. And that's happening while the chord is ringing out. So, play it for you again. Got it? Then we're going to do an A minor chord. So we're going to bar the 5th fret, and then 7th um, fret of the A and D. And then we're going to do what we did for that previous chord. So how we did that, we just strum the chord normally. And then with our second finger, we'll add that 6th fret B string. Hit that G and B twice, the G and B string. And then release our uh, second finger from that 6th fret. And then hit that G and B string again. So I'll play it for you again. And then hit the chord twice. All right, and then you play that again. So D minor, G major, C major, A minor. And then we do it again to so the D minor, G major. Now this is where it uh, changes slightly. When we get to that C major, we do it like we did last time. And now we hit that C major again, and then we play this little lick. So all you do is just play that C major, and then it's going to be on the B string, six five six five three. Then we go a string below, five two, and I'm referring to the frets, of course. So, okay, so for the next part, we have uh, power chords on the D and G string. You know, kind of like smoke on the water. So, what we have is on the fifth fret on the D and G. Got that. And then we're going to do eighth fret of the G, tenth fret of the D. We'll play that four times. And then power chords on the D and G on the 7th fret to the 5th fret. And then we'll do on the 5th fret the D and G string, 7th fret to D and G, 5th fret to D and G. So, so far we have. Next we have this. 
So what that is, is that power chords on the 10th fret, to the 9th fret, to the 7th fret. And then we'll basically bring everything down a string. Now we're on the A and D string, 5th fret, 7th fret, then back up to the 5th fret of the D and G. So one more time. Alright, so everything we have so far sounds like this. So now we just play that same line, essentially, but we add little variations in there. So this time it's going to sound like... Sounds pretty much the same as before, except in the beginning, this time we're adding that 7th fret power chord in there. So instead of just... Now it's... And then you do the... Uh, right? And then this time we have this. That's going to come after that line. And what that is, is 5th fret of the A and D, 7th fret of the A and D, then 5th fret of the D and G strings, and then on the G string we have 7, 9, 7, 9. Right? So that whole thing. And if I play it with the little line before it. Alright, so now we'll play that first line again. This time play the original way. Now we go to the 7th fret of the A and D string and play. Okay. And then play that line again. Now we go play an A power chord. Alright, so that's open A string, 2nd fret of the D and G string. Or you can play it up here as well. And But it sounds a little better as an open power chord to me. And you play it three times. Right? So... Okay, so next we have this. So what that was, it's just 10th fret of the A string and then 12th fret of the G string. And it's a, we're forming this octave shape, right? It's the same note, it's just one of them is an octave higher than the other. And we're going to be playing this shape until the end of the song, basically. So we're going to do 10th fret. And then you're going to slide that shape up to the 15th fret, so that sounds like. And you'll play it once you're on that 15th fret. And then you'll do 12th fret of that octave shape. And then 10th, no, excuse me, 8th fret, slide up the 10th. And you'll play that a few times. So I'll play that one more. And then you do it again, so this time we're going to add an extra 10th fret in the beginning of it. So listen for that. Right. So next we have that octave shape on the 12th fret, and we'll play it twice. And then we'll do 10th fret, and back to that 12th. So, so far that's... Then we'll have 10th fret, slide down the 7th fret. Then you'll play that 7th fret. And then you'll do 7th fret, slide the 5th. 5th fret, slide back up the 7th. Okay, so, so far we have... Then we have this. Right, that's just 7th fret, slide down the 5th, back up the 7th fret. So 
So I'll play that together now. Now we just have fifth fret. And then third fret. Then fourth fret. To fifth fret. And finally, seventh fret to the end. All right, so I'll play that whole part all together now. That's it. So there you have it. This song was learned by ear, so it's probably not completely accurate, but to me it sounds pretty close. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.